Hello again. Today we're going to continue talking about these upstroke letters. Now we've talked about the cursive I. And so let's draw our line. And here we have the, the ground. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a couple more lines because when I'm doing this initially, in the very beginning, I want it to be bigger so you can see what's going on. Okay, so when I'm writing these letters, my upstroke letters, I've already done the I. And remember, when we have a manuscript or print I, we pull down, straight up and down, perfectly tall letter. But cursive letters, they slant. And since I am writing towards the right, my letter should slant slightly towards the right. So I'm going to start on the ground, and I'm going to go upstairs, downstairs, and I'm going to swoop out. And I'm going to dot that I. Now, if I want to have two eyes, if I was to print them, I, they would be two eyes standing perfectly straight up and down like that. But in cursive, I would start on the ground and I'd go upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, and swoop it out. And then I would go ahead and I would dot my eyes. I had two eyes next to each other. Well, today we're going to be talking about the letter T. All right. So when we're making a, a manuscript T, a printed T, we start up in the air and we pull straight down and then we cross it and we got our T. Again, the letter's straight up and down, but in cursive, it's different. It slants. Now, we're, it's an upstroke letter. That means I start on the ground and I'm going to have this upstroke, this stroke that goes up. And so I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to start on the ground and go all the way up to the roof and down to the ground and swoop out. You see how much taller that is compared to the I? Look, the I only comes halfway, about where the cross of the letter was. Now, when I cross my T, I now have the letter T. All right, let's try, try it again on the, on the next line down here. So I'm going to start on the ground, and I'm going to go all the way up to the roof. So I start on the ground, and I swoop all the way up to the roof back down to the ground, and out, I swoop out. Look how I trace down this line. There's no real gap here. There's not a loop in there anywhere. And then I cross my T. Sometimes when you do this, you'll get a little loop in there, and that's okay, but you don't want big giant loops in it. That'll become messy. So I start on the ground and I go up to the roof, back down to the ground, and swoop out and cross my T. Again, on the ground, swoop up to the roof, back down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. Start on the ground, I swoop up to the roof, back down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. That's how we make a cursive T. Now, I'm not joining this T today because, well, we always start by just practicing the letter in isolation or on its own. So let's look at what it's going to look like on our paper. Since we're practicing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a T. Uh, this is a print T, a manuscript T. And so I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to pull down just like that. And then I'm going to cross it. And I'm doing this as a guide to let me know that what letter am I going to make on this line. Then I'm going to skip a whole line. I'm going to come down. I'm going to pull down and make another printed T. I'm going to have two rows, two entire lines of lowercase T's in cursive. I'm going to also make a line of I's. That's review. We've been doing that for two days, so we should be able to make some I's now. So, I start at the top, I start on the ground, I always start on the ground, that's always my starting point in cursive. I start on the ground, and I go up to the roof, back down to the ground, and out, I swoop out, I cross my T. I scoot over a little bit, start on the ground, go up to the roof, back down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. Swoop up to the roof, down to the ground, Swoop out, cross my T. Start on the ground, swoop up to the roof, 
come back down to the ground, swoop out, cross the T. Start on the ground, swoop up, to the ground, swoop out. I mean, I gotta have that swooping out. I gotta have that swoop out because where I'm gonna join the next letter, cross my T. Now, you're asking, how many times should I do this on each line, Mr. T? Well, you know, teachers don't like to answer that question because if we do, that's exactly what you're going to do, that, that amount. If I said do it two times, you'd have two Ts. Um, and that would be um, not enough practice. So honestly, you should be able to make it at least 10 Ts on each line. The more, the better. There should be a, a space between each one. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I've got ten nice T's there. I still have room to put some more over here. You know, some tree gave its all for this paper. That means we cut down a tree to make this piece of paper. And that tree is no longer living on this planet with its beautiful leaves, providing shade for you and me. So I like to use the papers much as possible for I just throw it away because this was once a living creature. So I've got 12 on this line now, but I should have at least 10. That means no fewer than 10. If you got less than 10, you didn't do enough. All right, so every time when I'm practicing this, well, almost every time, you're going to hear Mr. Trimley say the steps. Why do I do that? So that as I'm writing it, I'm hearing myself say it. And you should be doing that too. And eventually you won't need to say it. You'll just know how to do it. And you only have to think about it. It becomes second nature. So I start on the line. I go to the roof, to the ground, swoop out, cross the T. Start on the ground, swoop up to the roof, down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. To the roof, to the ground, swoop out. Cross my T. Oh no, look, I got one of those loops in there. See that gap? I don't know if you can see it too well. I'll, I'll do it over here on the side. When I did that, when I went up, I didn't trace back down perfectly and I ended up with this loop in there, this gap. And it kind of looks like this. I'll make it look a little bigger so you can see it. See how I have this loop? I've got a little bit of a loop here. Um, that happens sometimes. You don't want that to happen. But if it happens, cross your T, and everyone will know it's a T. Um, I've seen people who color it in. Um, that really looks messy. When you start trying to color it in, you know, and it gets all, now it just looks kind of gross. You know, it's all big and fat. Um, we don't want to do that. That makes it look really messy, see? Just leave it. And next time, try not to. But everybody does it from time to time. So I start on the ground, and I go up to the roof. Back down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. Start on the ground, swoop up to the roof, down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. You know, when I'm doing this, I like to think of like a figure skater or a roller skater because your pen or your pencil is really roller skating or ice skating or maybe even skateboarding. There, it's just flowing. I'm not picking up my pencil on every single stroke and every part of this. I start on the ground, I go up to the roof, down to the ground, swoop out, cross my T. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I got ten. Mr. T would be happy. I think our work so far is pretty good. Now let's look at our I down here. That I is almost the same letter. It doesn't go quite as high though. So I start on the ground and I swoop upstairs, downstairs, and out. That didn't go so well. This pen didn't show up so well. And I dot my eye. Start on the ground, go upstairs, downstairs, swoop out, dot my eye. My eye is not as tall as my T. The eye doesn't touch the top line. It that dot is not touching the top line. The T is touching the top line every time. 
Letter height matters. Start on the ground, upstairs, downstairs, swoop out, dot the I. And you should do this at least 10 times. Now, you should be getting better at your cursive eyes. And it shouldn't take you as much time because you've been practicing this. You should be practicing this and doing this assignment. Now, when you're done, you should have three rows, two rows of T's and a row of I's. And these are all called up, stroke, letters. They're called upstroke letters because, once again, when we're doing this, we're stroking and we're going up. Our strokes go up. We start on the ground and we swoop up. That is your upstroke. We went up in one stroke, in one motion. This right here is used in a whole bunch of different cursive letters. About six, as a matter of fact. I'll start with this. So I hope this helped you out. Tomorrow, we'll be joining the T. Have a good day.